All right, so here's how to do a leg curl. So most gyms will have a uh, lying leg curl machine. Some of them will have a seated leg curl machine. The seated leg curl is the same thing as a leg extension. You basically just want to make sure that the axle of all the machines you're going to be doing for your legs will be in alignment with the axle of your knee. If you just do that, it'll be in a pretty safe position to do the exercise. Now, one of the things you want to set the setting to get that full stretch on the leg. So in this scenario here, we do not want the machine to be, this is more because I have long legs, I gotta put this one far back. But in terms of this one here, we don't want this to be the bottom, right? Because basically our leg curl is just gonna be this motion. We want it to be the full range of motion because if you wanna properly train a muscle, you have to stretch it and contract it. So let's get into position. Once we're here, we have our leg, I didn't even look at the way, yeah. We have our leg here on the machine. You wanna keep your head straight with your back. From here, all you're going to do is you're gonna point your toes Right? You're not going to point your toes like this, you're going to point them towards you. That's going to allow you to get a better stretch in your hamstring, which is the muscle behind your leg here. You're going to get a better contraction as well. You can test it out for yourself, but basically here's what the movement is supposed to look like. Once we're here, we're going to curl up, right? This is a little bit lighter weight, so we'll go a little bit heavier so I can demonstrate the exercise properly. Yeah, there you go. You're going to go up, you're going to squeeze that hamstring, which is basically called the the bicep of the leg. It feels like a bicep squeeze when you're up here. And you're simply gonna go down, get a full stretch, just until the plates touch lightly, and then go right back up, all right? So a few things that you don't want to do when you're doing this. You'll notice that if you're up here and you point your toes, it removes some of the tension from your hamstrings and shifts them to your calves. So you wanna make sure you're pointing your toes towards you. Get that squeeze, get that full extension, keep your toes pointed towards you, etc. One thing that you don't want is when you're here to do this here. You don't want to lift your butt to try to get the weight. You wanna keep your hips firmly planted on the machine and curl. If you find that you have to lift your hips or your back or whatever to lift it, it's a little bit too heavy, go a little bit lighter. Again, it's a lot better to go a little bit lighter and work the muscle properly than to go heavier, not work it properly, and put more tension on your joints or muscles that are not supposed to be worked or greatly reduce your risk of injury. So that is how you do a leg curl.